Hello and welcome. Today I am bringing you something I'm pretty excited about. I just got the Kaleidos, Fu Kaleidos Futurism collection in the mail and before I show you the hats I'm gonna talk to you about the packaging. So it came in just like a, it didn't come in a box but it came in a wrap tone. But this is how they packaged the whole box. So it was wrapped up in this one and then in here sticky taped in and then once you break the tape you can fight with it and get it out but that's some hardcore packaging it did have the beautiful ribbon on it the box still got a bit mushed but it looks fine whatever and then inside you have the futurism and then all the beautiful palettes now i ended up buying all three because it was cheaper than buying two and they had free shipping when I started up. So the palettes separately go for $24. Uh, they have free international shipping at the moment if you buy $59 worth of product, which is the Futurism collection. So this goes for $59 USD, which equals $19.66 per palette. And in US and in Australian, I'm, the day I did it, my exchange rate was it was $85.66, which means $28.55 per palette. Uh, normally it's $34 Australian per part. It had a pretty cute little message and it did come from Shanghai, China, which is pretty cool. So I bought these palettes after watching Amy Loves, Ma Amy Loves Makeup and Angelica Nyquist review and Angelica said that this is her favourite formula of all time. So I'm gonna take you through and show you a look. I don't know if I'll, I'm not gonna swatch them but they're quite, I'll talk about them all after. I will link Amy Loves Makeup and Angelica Nyquist video in the description box if you haven't checked them out yet because I believe they do swatches in them and they're just, they're far better than I am. I'll show you real quick. This is the Astro Pink palette. I got the Futurism Bronze and the Sci-Fi Green. So I wasn't super into getting the Cyber Bronze palette. But it's it's got a it's got a really nice silver in it. I'm not mad at having it, but I just I wouldn't have bought it if they hadn't had the free shipping. And you know, it's kind of fun to get a full set. I never bought a pack like this. Anyway, I tried to use some shades from every single palette on the eye look that you're about to see, and there's one I'm wearing right now. Once I've finished, I will come back and talk to you about what I thought. All right, so. Sorry, I've just noticed a spider in here. It shows how long it's been since I've been in here. Anyway, I'm going to start off today and we're going to prime with the MAC Soft Ochre. I have been staring at these palettes for longer than I'd like to admit. Thinking about what kind of look I want to create. I think, I think I've, I think I've thought of it. So I'm going to keep pondering it while I prime. Here's my Jessup Concealer Brush. Brush. I'm going to lay down the MAC Paint Pot. Now please bear with me, it's been a little, it's been a while since I filmed an eye look. So, I will try and do my very best. Fairly well blinked out. And sorry, I will fix my hair at the end. To how you saw it at the beginning. But I've just gone out of the shower, I'm feeling motivated. So, I've spent a long time thinking about how I'm going to attack these. I think I'm going to try and include all of them. So, because of the design, it's just hard to lay them out together because they don't sit like I can't sit them in each other but I'm gonna use every single every single one I have oh look, I'll take a little picture of what I'm looking at and put that in so you can sort of see how I'm gonna approach this so I'm gonna go in to droid from uh, cyber bronze oh that's lovely shit right here and I'm just gonna lay this all down as like a blackie one it's actually been a long time since I've talked through uh eyeshadow look as well um, I started filming them so that I could catch up on YouTube and all that while and then coming back and recording the audio over because audio can be uh, really painful to deal with at times. Okay, that was more pigmented than I was expecting but I, I kind of love it. Oh, I should zoom you in. I'm now worried that I've gone too heavy with this one because I had a plan. I promise you I had a plan. I'm really enjoying this brush right now so I'm just going to clean her off. 
And then I'm going to go into Nebula from the Astro Pink, which is this one here. Alright, this is going a different way than I thought. I'm cool with it. Mainly because I use that brown. So I just like to stamp it a little bit in that outer corner and then try and blend it gently in. We don't want no harsh edges here today. Then, oh no, this brush, I'm loving it today. This is the Chikahoodoo GSN 10. I'm gonna clean her off again and go into Thing like smog from the sci-fi green palette and I'm just gonna bring some green up to the top this is gonna mute out that brown quite a bit but you know at least I played with it finally finished with that brush um sorry these red hairs are just annoying me I will be back in a sec all right a little bit better so we're going to that green. All right. I was going to do a uh, silver on my eye, but just staring at this Neptune shade in the Astro Pink palette. This beauty. Ooh, it looks purple to me. That's magic and I shall use it. So I'm not going to do a cut crease. I was just watching in its uh, Yoma review. And she mentioned on first impression she doesn't do a cut crease so she can see the impact of the shimmers. Um, I think I tend to never spray the brush first, but that's kind of like my own slackness. So I think let's give us a spritz. And also it's good to see how they perform without the shimmer. Because the shimmer, like, spritzing them and then dipping your brush in the pan can cause heart pan, which is super annoying. Ooh. I'm gonna go back to that brush that I said we're done with. I'm just gonna blend this out a little bit. And then for the inner the inner corner, let's go back to sci-fi green. I'm gonna use Glamora on my inner corner. Alright, sorry, no audio for that one. Ooh. So I've just brought smog, smog from Sapphire Green, this one, underneath my eye and up around. I'll do the other side anyway. Alright, so <laughs> the way I've done the green, I'm not super into it. So I'm going to bring back Nebula from Astro Pink. And try and like blend them a bit better. Alright, I think I'm okay with where we're at. Let me quickly do some liner and mascara. Alright, so I've just gone in with the L'Oreal Lash Paradise, my Astralis Stamp It, and the Epic Ink Liner that I drew over the stamp with. I like how I stamped it this way better. It's been a while since I've used it. These shadows performed beautifully. This blue purple dual cream on my eye, I'm in love. I mean, look, I, you know, I really like it. Anyway, I'll come back to talk to you a bit about what I think. Anyway, thanks for watching. So, I've been wearing the eye look for a little while now. I went off and had lunch after I finished. <laughs> and, um, I will say I kind of am into the packaging quite a bit. This is unique for my collection, which is pretty funny when I, I have a lot of palettes. Um, well, it's similar in size. There's not really anything that's that similar. I'm not, I do wish the names were just labeled underneath, but I'm guessing it must cost a lot more money to do that. The mirror is actually pretty good. It is tiny. But it, it's good for some up close eye work. I wouldn't do, you can't do a full face in it, but it's decent. I mind it. And it's quite sturdy packaging. 
really my favorite shade i've got on is the neptune shade that i'm wearing now and, and yeah it looks blue blue on the list all right i wonder if i can show you but it is like a purple purple blue duo cream let's see if we get oh i think we made kind of made it happen but it, it's pretty outstanding so i've worn this look for like maybe half an hour and you can see i've already got some lovely creasing going on that tends to just happen because my eyes are quite hooded and I didn't bring the shimmer up as high as it's traveled. So I mean I could fix it if I wanted to right now. So as I mentioned at the beginning I did buy this set because uh, Amy Loves Makeup and Angelica Nyquist review. Specifically for me Angelica Nyquist review is what sold me on it because she said this is her favorite formula ever. I'm like that girl knows her eyeshadow. And I would say it's pretty damn decent. After playing with them, I'm actually really excited to play with all of them, including the Cyber Bronze palette. I... It's cool. And you can really create some unique, fun looks. And then if you're thinking about getting the set, like, if it's not, um, if you can afford to and you want it, I would say go for it. But it's... I don't think anyone needs to have any of these palettes, but they are a very cool collection item to have to my collection. I'm super excited to have them all now. And I can't wait to play with them more. I'm not sure how I'll approach playing with them. Because you there is versatility to make a few palettes. So I could do uh, two looks with one palette and continue on. Or keep using all of them together. Because that's you just get a bit more versatility when you can do that. But they're pretty cool. I think sci-fi green, I'm super into it. And I initially when I was thinking of this eye look, I was thinking of more of a like a dusky green look with a silver on the uh, eyelid but I decided to use Neptune as that purple and it, it just it went a different way anyway um yeah so far I'm really impressed and I'm really excited to keep playing with these yeah uh let me know what you think let me know if you've picked them up let me know if you're gonna get them I have I have zero complaints so far um and I'm looking forward to playing with them a bit more uh, anyway, thank you so much for stopping by. I absolutely appreciate and adore you. Mwah. Mwah.